All right, well, let's get get this party started, Rob. And uh, last night, a lot of it took place while we were on the air. The Boston Celtics go up 2-0 over the Indiana Pacers in Got game the spread two. two. Obviously, yes. Uh, obviously won by 16 points. And uh, they're now up 2-0 on the Pacers. And, Rob, I think this is over. Not just because they're up 2-0. In fact, if they were just up 2-0, I really wouldn't say it's – I mean, look, we both thought Boston's going – I mean, I had no doubt Boston's going to win this series. So I, in a sense, thought it was over from the start. But I'm not just saying it's done because it's 2-0 or because they're better. I'm saying it's done because Tyrese Halliburton, the best player for the Pacers – is now questionable. He had to leave last night's game with a hamstring injury. St- and now he's NBA questionable. Playoffs. He's questionable for game three and probably further on with the sore hamstring. So do you agree that this thing is over? And you said it, it's the story of this year's playoffs. Yeah, it's just the postseason. I mean, I, I, I never say a series is over. Like, uh, So you, give, we, you still give Indiana a chance to win this? To, no, to, I give them the chance to make it a series, win a couple of games. Oh, but That's not what I'm win saying. the series, right. No, I picked Boston in six, so right. I'm sticking with that pick. But it doesn't and I just mean, mean they, yeah. Yeah, they can win a few games. They can win, maybe, a, they can win a game I'm or two, but can they be, win the series? I don't believe they can win the series. I don't think it's going to automatically a four-game series. We've seen this before where a team oh, yeah, is I, missing a player. Yeah, yeah. And, and, Chris, they come out, put together some effort. The other team takes them lightly, right, and they win a game or so. But, yeah, I, I don't know how they can do it without Halliburton. I mean, uh, he's a tremendous player. He's their spark plug, and um, it's a shame. And like I said, it, it's what we've seen all postseason with all these injuries, and it's never some seldom-used uh, backup, Chris. It's like the biggest star on the right. team. It's like, the, right. like, like that's what's crazy. People get hurt, but the biggest stars – just oh, just time and time again, it's so frustrating. Yeah, and it, it has been, unlike any other postseason, there have always been injuries. But this year, without – and we don't have data to back it up, but Rob, I, I, can, I cannot remember a postseason where almost – it seemed like more than half of the teams lost their best player. Let's see, Milwaukee was without Giannis. Uh, eventually, I mean, New York, they didn't lose their best player, but they were so banged up, it was ridiculous. And I, he got hurt at the end of the you know, series in game seven. Right. But um, you can count them just because the number of injuries, right? OG Ananobi, Mitchell Robinson, that's not even counting Julius Randle, right. Josh who Hart was out for a long injury. time. Exactly. Right. So, so they're there. Now Indiana, uh, Miami was without Jimmy Butler. Cleveland was without – you know, in parts of it, series with Boston, with Boston, Donovan Mitchell and Jer Allen, two All Stars. Uh, it was more so the East, Rob, than the West for for some reason. But even in the West, the Clippers didn't have Kawhi, and this is it's just been incredible. And then there's guys playing through injury like Luca uh, and, and a few others. But and he's had some games where he wasn't one hundred percent or right. whatever. Right. You look at the Celtics' path, Rob. Miami, they beat them in five. Jimmy Butler didn't play at all. Uh, Cleveland, they beat in five. And Donovan Mitchell missed a few games. Jared Allen, I think, missed the whole series. Did he not and play now, at all? I didn't realize he I don't think he game. played at all. I'll, I'll check it out to make okay. sure, but I don't think he played at all. Um, and then, and now I should say, Indiana, Rob, is without its – best player and we'll see when he comes back but Rob to me obviously and I don't think there's going to be any issue of them yeah yeah Jared Allen missed the whole series um for Cleveland they're going to win this series without question and now Rob I think it adds to the pressure for them to go ahead and absolutely win the championship I think the pressure was already high I think when they started the season, it was championship or bust. I think when Denver went down, Denver's the one team that people would have been like, hey, they lost to Denver. 
you got to give them credit. They lost to Denver and Golden State, right? Two two champions with older players, veterans who still in their prime. You can't really slight the Celtics for that. But once Denver was eliminated, now you've got a Minnesota team that is led by a 22-year-old. You've got a Dallas team that's led by a 25-year-old. And so now, Rob, and, and on top of that, throw in the fact that now you could, if they sweep, and maybe they won't, maybe it'll go five, but if they sweep Indiana or whenever they get rid of them, Rob, if they sweep them, they could have as much as, they could have like 10 days rest. If they don't, it'll still be seven or eight. And, and maybe we'll see how this series in the West goes. But this one could go seven. This one could be a barn burner. And so that gives the Celtics time for their center, Chris Stapps Porzingis, who is important for them, gives yeah. him time to rest and get healthy. They don't even have to play him this series. And then you are ready. You are rested and ready for the Dallas Mavericks or the Minnesota Timberwolves. So to me, Rob, it just ratchets up the pressure even more on Boston to win. I mean, I think they have pressure anyway, but I hear you know what you've laid out. I just think that they've knocked on the door. They've had a good team. They've uh, had the best record in the league. There's all these things that have piled up at some point, and they've heard all of the other stuff. And I, I think actually that they will win the championship. As, really? As I, yeah, I do. I, I think they'll beat the team coming from the West. Uh, just because this is the first time you've said that. I think, yeah, right? I've changed my okay. mind on them because I, Chris, you're right. First time. So you Ch- were, were you you had picked Denver and yeah. then Dallas, I think, right? Yeah, and I, okay. I'm starting to think that this could line up nicely for them, especially if you have a big series out west. You know what I mean? Like a, yeah. a big series yeah. out west. You see, Anthony Edwards already. Showing some fatigue, right? Right. Uh, th- th- there's something there. And Luke and, is banged up. And here's the other thing, Chris. I just think they they have experience. Like, they they have they have some experience going for them. I, I was like, Jalen Brown comes up big. We know what kind of player he is. Tatum in that uh, first game in in uh, overtime, Chris, we know his, his, his struggles with Clutch moments and, you know what I mean, making big baskets. Yep. I was impressed. That was big. He could have easily missed that. He had a bad fourth quarter. Right. And what did he do? Bounce back right. in, in overtime. Like, like that's what you want from – you give me another chance? You know what I mean? Right. You open the door? Okay, I'm going to make you pay this time because I didn't – I failed in the fourth quarter. So I'm looking at those things. It ain't like talent-wise those other two teams in the West – or head and shoulders, and they got no shot. I'm with you. If it's Denver, I'm all the way in on Denver. If right. Denver was was coming out of the West, Chris, I'm been there, experienced. I like the team. I like the Joker. I like the team concept that they have. I like Mike Malone. Okay, that's easy for me. Right, right. I'm I'm starting to look at Boston as maybe the tea leaves are aligning, Chris. Maybe the big big bad wolf out west with these two teams. Uh after they knock each other off or whoever, you know, is left right. standing, it's beatable. They're not, Would I look you feel at them. differently if, and I don't think this is going to happen, but let's say Dallas swept Minnesota. Would you feel differently? Because they will get, the finals are starting when the finals start. It's not going to, you know, you wrote, know, Rob, it's not based on how no, long no, no, these it's series set. go. Right. So it's they're set. getting, right. you know, if they both swept, they might get both get about a week off, if not right. more. That's the only thing that's, Good and bad, and I understand it's set up, Yeah, it'll be a long week. That's a long stretch, (laughs) right, for basketball, especially you used to playing this time of the year every other night. But I get it. I mean, it's all for uh, TV, and it's all lined up, and they have the finals locked in on the schedule, on the TV schedule, so I get it. But, um, yeah, I – you know, I would look at Dallas differently if they – if they. you said if Dallas – If they swept, yeah, if they swept Minnesota. Yeah, if they swept, but I, I don't think they'll sweep Minnesota. Right. Um, and I think there'll be a battle of six games. Could it go seven? Maybe. And I just think Boston, for all that they've been through, Chris, and all of the – we like they have a pattern. Bad games, you look at yep. them and you go, oh, I just don't have con- – then they come right back, like after that game, what I, came right back, 16-point win, dominant win, did what they had to do. And if they can do that again uh, and, and take one out of two in Indiana, come back, 
and wrap it up. That that would be exactly what you would want from them. So I'm I'm gonna for the first time I'm moving towards Boston winning the championship. Look, I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at that prediction. Uh, it did cross my mind today that because I've been saying if it's Minnesota Boston, I'm definitely taking Minnesota. If it's Dallas Boston, I'll see how I feel. You know, right. starting in the finals. But um, yeah, I, I look. And even if it's Minnesota, I mean, Boston, we've been hard on them because right. they won 64 games. They have nights when they just upset upset and exasperate you, right? And they look when you're awful. you're just like, what in awful. the world are they doing? Right. Um, but over, <clears throat> excuse me, overall, they, they're they playing very good basketball. And again, Rob, I mean, you talk about a light trek to the final. So we'll, it could benefit them. Um but I'm I'm right now I feel like I'll take the West winner and I've picked Minnesota to win it all. I'll stick with them for now. Right. But no, I'm not I don't think that's a terrible take. I don't think that's a terrible take. Because like you said, they're all young. They're all young. They are and Dallas and- is prone to have some bad we saw Kyrie last series wasn't offensively great, right? Um yeah, we what see he Anthony had two Edwards. nine point games. He had yeah. two nine point yeah. games. And Anthony Edwards, Rob, has, you know, he's had some forty point games and then some 19-point games and shooting poorly from the field. So, cat, same way. So, no, that that's fair.